Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I don't know if I was going to talk about this on here, or I should, or I don't I don't know. But I'm going to give my opinion and let y'all know how I feel. Hi, hello. My name is Danae Davis. I just want to expect to see all that right there at the beginning. I, I am here to basically... I, you know, like, I, I guess she do what she, I, I get that she do what she do and all, but I wasn't expecting to see that, y'all. Shed light on... And I need, and and I need yeah. to hear what she got to say anyway. ...exactly is going on on my Twitter, okay? What exactly is being said? What exactly is going on? People are probably very confused on what it is that I'm talking about, who it is that I'm talking about, and I am not in no way... Basically, talking. basically, I know I've been on Twitter, of course, but I'm just like, I need to hear from her mouth, from the horse's mouth. What she was saying, cause she said she said something about her con contracting a, something that she can't get rid of from another um male adult worker, something like that. Trying to defame, incriminate, or um, hurt anybody in this video. My my intention solely is to get up on here and speak the truth of what is going on behind closed doors. Speak the truth, baby girl. Speak it. Model. Somebody who does Don't. OnlyFans and Twitter and everything, as somebody who has attempted to move around in this industry and grow my platforms via OnlyFans collaborations, I have realized, witnessed, heard, and experienced some things that I feel like really need to be shed light on. And um, if people want to come at me in any kind of way for what I am saying, I apologize if I am hurting anybody's feelings or making anybody uncomfortable, but it's time for me to tell the truth. And this video is barely gonna be edited. It's going to be very quick and very simple. Right. Or I just don't want anybody else. I don't wanna see anybody else on that page that I know and that is mutual on Instagram platforms and Twitter that I know are exposing themselves to something that is life changing, you know? And I don't wanna sit here and oh. Oh, All right, come on now. And I'm just saying, like, after I said a little some people are coming out and saying the evil and horrific things that people experience with these male content creators, and I really, it took a really long time. Please don't come for anybody who is deciding to come out. And share their stories Why would we? you guys because i promise you it takes a lot to um clap back at the person that hurt you whether it is physical or emotional abuse um I'm from saying exactly what happens behind closed doors with these i'm sorry i'm just trying to get to the point where she just said what she got to say what she got to say basically i'm All just right. going to come out and say that um there is a very popular only fans and content or Twitter we know who it is by now i think everybody knows actively um spreading a virus called hsv2 which is genital herpes i'm not going to confirm or deny who this person is and i also am not going to confirm or deny anybody who he has given this virus to but i will say that it is real very much real he is changing people's lives and um, I'm not out here for clout. I'm literally out here to be very clear that. So the story time that I'm going to tell you right now is um, a rough analyzation of. So she gave us a story time. All right, I'm glad. I'm glad I clicked on the video. I'm not confirming or denying anybody in this video. I'm not saying names. Nothing. All right, just, just. Do... I don't know. I don't know. Just put a name on it. Just put it. Just put it. Just just tell me who it is. Just tell me what it is. Why you not you 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 hiding it from everybody else? When people in the back know, and the people that don't know could be in danger. Saying. So why why wouldn't you? This, uh, uh, how do I say this? You just allowed it. Allegedly, the, you kept, this is a legend. Keep on going. So basically, um, there was a girl, fresh um, freshly into this collab business. And they were reached out to numerous times by a man who cannot be named that basically actively looks for people to prey on. That's what it is. He actively preys on people. He actively goes and looks for people to collaborate with. And in this industry, a lot of... And she's talking about prey on? 
I don't think that's the right word to use. If she's talking about getting preyed on because because she said she was 19 on, on the Twitter, quote unquote on Twitter. She said like she was 19 and she just wanted to, she wanted to try, basically want to try something, I guess. Then, so, I mean, but if he, if he came up with an offer and try, if we just offered just, hey, you want to do, you want to do to do? And you said, oh yeah, I'll do that and get some money from it. Is that, is that preying on somebody? Like, is that, is that praying or is that just offer like, oh, because if I, if I hit somebody up and say, oh, you want to do this? If you want to do this and I'll give you this amount of money for it and, and that, is that preying on somebody? Have con content creators or is that just reach out to other content an creators offer. and he's like, hey, I'd love to work with you this and that, you know? And so um, this girl decided one day right after she got tested and everything that she was going to decide to go out and actually like do this collab, be with this content creator, go and experience what it's like to be with them and all that kind of stuff. So this person um, met up with this content creator and noticed that there was something a little fishy going on in the lower I'm, I'm guessing she's talking about herself. area of this man. Um, yeah, she's talking about herself. Nothing. It was just like she saw um, a lesion. That's what the medical term for it is. And um, basically, Whenever things first Oh yeah, and she said she seen it. she said she asked for the test results and he didn't give it to her at all. Basically, I mean, if I was a woman, if I was in her position and I asked for your test results and you don't give it to me at all, you say you're gonna give it to me and you don't give it to me, nothing's going on. Nothing nothing's not in my brain, nothing is going on. We're not doing nothing. But still you continue to have intercourse and Multiple, multiple way forms of intercourse with oral and all, all this stuff without, you know, I don't know. Started, didn't really think too much of it. Um, this person was then uneducated about the specific sexually transmitted um, disease or infection and didn't know exactly what she was looking at. And so um, I'm telling this story based off of the events that um, I was told. Basically, um, the man and her were doing content consistently for um, a couple of days. And on the second day that they were doing content, she decided to come out flat and ask him, hey, I saw that thing on your, your, your thing. What is that? And the man proceeds to say, um, that's just a cut. I cut myself while I was shaving. And um, at the time, the girl was very young and very nice. And that's another thing. No, I get that she's young and all that stuff. So I, I'll, I'll give her some points for that. Not points. I, I'm, I'll take back some of the points that I'm finna. The, um, the stones. I'm, I'm not throwing. I'm not even throwing no stones. I don't know how to say it. I'll take back what some, some of the shit. Whatever. Yeah, y'all know. But it's like I don't know, bro. I'm not me personally. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Like one time I had to shave the you know the 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 the, the, the thing it's always around it and she didn't necessarily but she know she was she young so i i I'll so, give that to her I guess this girl basically um just went with it was just like okay and then um I'm not even really gonna get into what happened. Um, that caused this uh, altercation between the girl and um, the man. But eventually, uh, there was there's rumors that this man is quote unquote aggressive or abusive, and this is why a lot of women don't come up and stand against him because they're afraid of exactly what is going on, what can happen, and what this man can do. Especially since this man is of a descent where voodoo is very prominent in that family, and. Um, it's just very, 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 very scary. But I do wholeheartedly yeah. believe we'll, we'll mess that, that voodoo and stuff. No, believe that, stuff. that God is on the sides of all pure parties, all parties that are literally just here in um, with the intention to spread word that this is a highly possible thing that could happen to many different
uh, the man is also very, very, very aggressive. Um, and the thing is, she put it in this video without saying his name, but she goes on Twitter and says his name. I'm like, why don't you just Ben say his name from the jump? With the girl that I am speaking about, he even gripped her hair and um, told her in her face, looked her dead in her eyes and told her, you don't know who you're messing with. I will kill you. So whenever you see on Twitter people saying that this man is aggressive and this man is insane and this man um, is capable of crazy things, just know that this is real. It's true. Um, he does. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the thing is, I'm not cutting him no slack or nothing like that, no. If she, I'm, I believe everything she's saying. I believe everything she's saying, all this stuff. Because, I mean, why not? I, I, I get I get. everybody else has the other, there's two sides to the story, but it's, it's a lot of proof in this pudding. There's <laughs> a lot of proof in this pudding that we, um, that we're looking at. Are scared into silence and scared that, um, they'll get pro charges pressed against them and everything like that. And, um, honestly... It's to the point where I am not scared. Um, I am assisting many other people or like, fans models do get tested prior to working with other creators. Um, yes, we do get tested for most of the things under the sun, including like MGen, Chlamydia, Gonorrhea, all of those, but we do not test and we are not obligated to disclose um, HSV. Um, and that's what, that's what I'm saying, like, all the other stuff, that stuff could be curable. You can get rid of. But y'all not obligated to get tested for the most permanent stuff? The stuff that's, that'll change your life forever? Permanent? It's permanent. Why are you not getting tested? Why are y'all not obligated to disclose the stuff that is permanent? Hey, this whole this whole thing is backwards. Why is it, why is it so backwards? Uh, HSV is something test results, whether it's negative or positive. Um, morally, a lot of models do disclose their HSV um, results Cause, cause why to not? their potential partners, um, allowing them the decision on whether or not they want to run the risk of catching the said disease. But the disease is not transmittable unless you have a, um, an active outbreak or you have a high viral load to where you are shedding. So if anybody out there does have HSV2, or if anybody else does experience a heartbreaking experience like what I am describing. Well, why, would, why would anybody try to take that risk anyway? 70% of the population has it, a lot of which do not disclose, um, and a lot of which- 70, uh, 70%? Got that? No, I don't, I don't think I got it, I, don't, I, I ain't got it. Just abruptly um, traumatized and um, scared or um, surprised by this happening. And I don't, I'm literally shaking as I'm saying this. Like, I don't, I don't want any backlash, but I know it's gonna right. take to be on keep talking to people under the radar and I can't keep um, trying to spread the word subliminal, giving it to people who are regular civilians. People are fantasizing and romanticizing an evil and vile man. And I'm just saying, please. 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 If, if this man is so evil and so vile, why are you not telling his name on this video? I get that you said it. I, I get that you said it later on. Why did you not say it on this video? How many views has it got? 30K, all right. It ain't got, <laughs> it ain't got that many views. Um, But yeah, at least, at least she said it. I'm just saying why she didn't say it on this video. I'm glad she said who it was at the end of the day. I'm just saying why she didn't say it on this video. Please be mindful when working with this man. A lot of people have money and all that kind of stuff in the back of their minds thinking like. Is that at the end of the day, this is the person that ruined your life. You got it. I, if somebody ruined my life with well, this is a, a disease I can't get rid of, I'm going to say their name forever, regardless, forever. You did this. You Watch out. Watch out. Don't, yeah, like, come on now. Like, it's going to come out great. Um, I guess no. Nah, I take it. I guess she was kind of scared at this point. I guess she was scared. I guess she was still scared at this point to not disclose who it was. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll say that. That's my fault. Speaking on, she definitely got went into the situation. That's on. That's on me. That all the money in the world is going to come out of it. And truth be told, yes, it's good promotion. Yes, it's great um, traction. But 
go through a lot. I think we're gonna write this video up, though. I just want to spread the word. That, um, yeah, she just spread the word. There are men like the person that I'm speaking on, uh, doing this. Let me see what the comments talking about before know? I get out of here. And um, I'm tired. I'm oh. really tired. Uh, never mind, my fault, y'all. My fault. That's on me. Allegedly, it was Gucci. Third leg. It's a crazy name, but um, she's only twenty. There were no other jobs. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It probably it probably wasn't other jobs. I guess this girl. Meanwhile, you're talking about yourself. I need to start using condoms. Yeah, I promise you, condoms. They save they save your life. They save your life. I ain't gonna lie. This took a lot of bravery. Apply you. Thank God I'm married to a great one who's the last of my human. She's talking about Gucci Third Leg. I don't even feel comfortable talking about the name Gucci Third Leg. All right, um, reasons why father and mother are important. Yeah, they are. But um, we finna write this up because um, that's all she gotta say for real, for real. We finna get out of here. But it's it's going on. It's going around that he's had, he's slept with a lot of other people. Um, including I seen he slept. I seen he slept with Sky Bree. Or had intercourse with Sky Bree and Aiden had intercourse with Sky Bree. I think allegedly. So he's not throwing that word around. Allegedly, he had word. I mean. Um, and of course, with Scott Bree, and that's just going around. So, Aiden didn't think he got it. Shay had, and of course, with Danae, everybody questioning does the Shay got it? It's like we just don't know what's going on, buddy. But, um, we finna get out here though. And like and subscribe, and do whatever you want to do on my channel. <laughs>